The Mexican-American War was fought in 1846-1847. Ulysses S. Grant was a soldier fighting during that war. He fought alongside Robert E. Lee, who were on opposite sides in the Civil War, which took place a couple decades later. And in his memoirs, Grant wrote that he thought the Mexican-American War was the most unjust war because it pitted the United States, a powerful nation, against a less powerful nation, Mexico, for no good reason. Just accumulation of land. He was a dutiful officer and he fought bravely, but he didn't agree with the war. In any case, the very last battle of the Mexican-American War took place here in Mexico City, right here in what's called Chapultepec Park, which is on the western side of the city. If you look up high, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but there are some flags up there that are flying above a castle. There's a big castle on a hill, and the hill is Chapultepec Hill, which is in Nahuatl means Grasshopper Hill. So here's what happened. At the time of the Mexican-American War, the castle was a military academy for young cadets. So there were young cadets up there, and they ended up being the ones that were defending the very last stance of this war. Now, it's a big hill, it's hard to see, but it is a hill, it's a wooded hill, and the U.S. forces were at a disadvantage because they were below. You always want to be on higher ground if you're in a battle, but they weren't. And they were being really cut down. Many, many, many American soldiers uh, died and were killed. In fact, so much so that in the Marine Corps hymn, it begins from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Now the halls of Montezuma means the place where Montezuma, the Aztec king, uh, lived and was, uh, was the capital of the Aztec Empire, uh, which is now present-day Mexico City. Historically, though, that's not correct because he lived 200 years before the Mexican-American War, but nonetheless, it was important enough, this battle was important enough, and enough men died that they actually immortalized them, the American soldiers, in the Marine Corps hymn. So here's what happened, if you can picture, American soldiers are all here. They're, they're fighting their way inch by inch up this hill to try to take the castle, the last defense, the very last defense of this war. The cadets are up there bravely fighting and they're also getting killed. And it got down to the point where there were six cadets left. They are represented by the six columns you see behind me. Any student born in Mexico, any Mexican student that went to school learned the story of the heroics of these six young men. The statue in the middle, the woman, is called La Patria. And La Patria, if you want to think of it, she'd be the, like the mother of Mexico. And she's consoling a dead um, uh, cadet, okay, that you see on the one side and then another soldier standing on the other side. So this is a very important historical landmark, historical place, especially when it comes to the Mexican-American War. And when you come to Mexico City, I highly recommend that you come here, learn more about the history, and when you go up to, to view the, the castle up there, when you walk in, there's a mural, big huge mural that immortalizes the very last cadet that survived or the, he didn't survive, he was killed, but the very last cadet decided he didn't want to be captured. And so what he did was he grabbed a, the Mexican flag that was up there, draped it around his neck, ran, and jumped to his death. And he's like, I'm not gonna get captured, I'm gonna die for my country this way, but I'm not gonna dishonor myself and my country by being captured. Um, and that's what he did. And so when you go there, you, you can see that, and it's, it's a beautiful mural and it's also, well, it's a sad mural because he's just a young child, so to speak, a young man. And uh, whether that story of him jumping off is true or not, we don't know, but it is the folklore of the history and who knows, maybe it was indeed something that happened in the very last battle here in Chapultepec, uh, west of Mexico City. So uh, I would say come, 
and check out this place.